welcome you all for online learning of sacred heart high school standard 9th subject geography chapter number 5 precipitation this is the part 1 of this chapter in this part we are going to study what is precipitation snow and hail can you tell the blades of grass look like this on winter morning the blade of grass looks like this in the winter morning because of dew these are small water droplets the dew is formed in winter because moisture laden air near the earth surface comes in contact with cold object due to which condensation of vapor takes place turning into small water droplets snow is found everywhere in the winters in kashmir why isn't snow found in our surroundings snow is found everywhere in winters of kashmir because kashmir is located at the higher altitude where the temperature falls below freezing point freezing point means 0 degree celsius hence water vapor directly turn into snowflakes leading to snowfall why is in snow found in our surroundings because children we have a moderate temperature and we are closer to the sea snow is not found in our surroundings generally it rains between june and september in our region we get rainfall between june and september in our region when the moisture laden south west monsoon winds are obstructed by the western ghats leading to orographic rainfall now how do the rain droplets form clouds form when condensed water droplets and dust particles accumulate forming large rain droplets in london there is fog like this till the afternoon in the winters in london there is fog because london is far away from equator and it has temperate oceanic climate and they have cool summers so why don't we have fog like this till afternoon in the winters in our region because we are near to equator and we have tropical climate and hot summers sometimes hailstones destroy the standing crops in the fields hailstones are solid and heavy in nature and they hit the earth due to gravity and this is a reason they destroy the crops in the field why don't we get hailstones frequently for the formation of hailstones the following two conditions are required intense heating which results in upwards air flow decrease in air temperature at higher layers of atmosphere as india is a tropical country we do not find cooler air at higher levels because of intense heating of land 70.8% part of the earth surface is full of water the distribution of this water is very uneven and some places the water storage is limited while it is ample at other places we see or experience the different forms of condensation as shown in the picture that is given in your textbook that is page number 42 figure 5.1 this forms of condensation occur due to the water vapor in the atmosphere as the atmospheric conditions change we see changes in the forms of condensation on winter morning we find dew 
in areas located at higher altitude snowfall occurs while it rains in other places some places experience dense fog while some experiences hailstones suddenly and face crop destruction now next what is precipitation waterfalls in the solid or liquid state from the clouds to the ground snow hailstones rainfall are the major forms of precipitation when the temperature in the atmosphere falls below the freezing point water vapor directly turn into snowflakes this is called sublimation here the vapor in the form of gas transforms into solid snow precipitation in the form of solid particles of snow is known as snowfall in high latitudinal and temperate regions snowfall occurs at the mean sea level while in tropical areas snowfall occurs at places located higher than the snow line altitude as snow is in the solid form it does not flow like water layers of snow get deposited when the snow accumulates on a large scale then the transport and communication system of that area collapses people living in those regions have to protect themselves from frost bite when the snow melts the region gets water students do you know there is a difference between ice and snow in areas located at higher altitudes and high latitudes where the temperatures are below 0 degree celsius precipitation occurs in the form of snow snow is friable and opaque this snow accumulates in the form of layers on top of each other because of the pressure from the upper layers the lower layers of the snow become homogeneous massive and transparent massive transparent snow formed in such a way is called ice when temperature drops below freezing point a layer of ice forms on the lake surface and this layer floats on the surface of reservoirs this ice is not related to snowfall directly now next what is hail when there is a lot of heat on the earth surface the upward air flow blows at the greater speed because of this upward flow the temperature of the air reduces and the condensation of the water vapor takes place dark clouds are formed because of the upward movement of air this water droplets go to the higher altitude here solidification of this droplets occur and hailstones are formed as hailstones are heavy they fall towards the ground but because of the frequent upward flow of air they are repeatedly taken upwards here a new layer of snow forms the hail this happens quite a few times hence concentrated layers are formed while the hail grows in size this big heavy hail stones fall rapidly to the ground because of gravity we call them precipitation of this type as hail showers because of hail crops may get destroyed and loss of life and property may also occur hails occur in summer in india africa and in some parts of southeast asia hails do not occur in equatorial areas because of the heat in the atmosphere hails do not occur in cold zones because of lack of upward flow in the next video we will study about what is rainfall and three different types of rainfall thank you students